Hey everybody, it's Joe here with Pickleball Nexus, and today I want to show you how to use a spreadsheet to improve your pickleball game. Um, I know spreadsheets are not the most exciting thing, but here we can use one uh, if you video yourself to track your shots and kind of give you some feedback on how you're playing on the court. And from there you might find some examples of things that you need to change, whether they're habits that you have on the court or patterns or maybe just an area of weakness that you want to work on or an area of strength that you want to maximize. So here on the spreadsheet, just a quick uh, rundown of what we have here. Everything in this top quadrant will be forehand shots. Everything in this bottom half will be backhand shots. And we have a variety of different shots of serve, a couple different volley types, lobs, resets, anything that you might hit during the course of gameplay. Um, you can also add in a row and then put in a new type of shot. Um, so from here, uh, in these vertical columns, if I hit an unforced error, let's say I hit my serve return into the net, then I'll be tallying up as the match goes on. Um, so let's say if I hit my second serve return to the net. Um, so those get us zero points on a scale of zero to one. So here we have a poor shot or maybe a forced error. So let's say my opponents dink me out wide and I dink it into the net. That would be a forced error. Or let's say I hit my uh, serve return, but I hit it up high so that they can hit an overhead. That would be a poor shot and go here. But uh, so slightly losing, um, let's say I hit a dink that went straight to my opponent's forehand and maybe it sat up a little bit, gave them a chance to uh, turn the balance in their favor. So that would be a slightly losing shot. A uh, neutral shot would be something where I don't lose any advantage, I don't gain any advantage. Um, you're going to find most, a lot of shots will fall into this category. Most of our dinks will end up here. Most of our third shot drops will end up here. Our serves will end up here. Our serves return, serve return will mostly end up here. Um, because a lot of those shots, we just aren't gaining an advantage. Now, sometimes you will, sometimes you'll uh, lose an advantage on those shots, but... Anything that is neutral will end up in the middle column. Anything slightly winning, let's say I dinked my opponent out wide and then they gave me one that sat up a little bit. Uh, a forcing shot. Uh, let's say I decided to uh, hit a volley attack and then they popped up their block of that attack and I got to put away a smash for a winner. So anything forcing would be here and then a clean winner. Now... What the spreadsheet does not do is it does not tell you how to hit a shot properly. It doesn't tell you good strategy. Um, it just becomes an aid for how you can evaluate your play, find your weaknesses. Maybe you had a lot of unforced errors on your forehand drop shot. Then this, this sheet would show it after a couple of games, and then you can uh, find what you want to work on from there. So now I'll show you how to fill in this chart and how to we'll, uh, talk a little bit, I guess, how to make the decision on where to go if it goes in slightly losing, neutral, slightly winning, or something else. Uh, so we'll fill in for one point, and then I'll fill in a whole game on fast forward so you don't have to see everything I'm doing. Okay, so let's watch this point first, and then we'll go back through it and fill it in. So let's watch it and fill in the chart for the point. Now we're only filling in the chart for me. I'm in the blue shirt over here. So whenever I hit the ball, we'll stop and we'll change the chart. Okay, backhand dink out wide. My opponent's pretty, uh, pretty good on his feet. So I'm not really gaining an advantage with that. So that backhand, backhand dink will be a neutral shot. No advantage gain, no advantage lost. Might look like I gained an advantage with him out there, but uh, at 4 0 plus, it's not really an advantage anymore. He gets it back, no problem. A forehand dink from me. Again, neutral, so forehand 
Dink, find neutral, there we go. All right, now my partner puts them out wide, which I'd give that a slightly winning if I were filling, my, filling the chart out for my partner, but I'm not. So, okay, I get a backhand volley. The ball didn't bounce, and I put him out wide. So backhand volley, and it was a dink. And I'm going to put that under the slightly winning category because now you can look at our court here. My partner put one person way out wide on the left, now I'm putting this guy way out wide onto the right. So we've split that court up, and there are problems. So I give it a slightly winning because we're continuing that winning court advantage. We haven't won the point yet, but we have a pretty good chance to now. All right, I get the backhand volley. Um, I can't quite hit it as hard as I'd like to because um, I have a wrist injury. I'm playing with a brace on. Um, but I do manage to hit it in a good enough spot where they pop it up to my partner's forehand. So I'm going to give that backhand volley attack a forcing because now with the forehand overhead, he should be able to put it away, but he doesn't. <laughs> All right, so I'd give him that a forcing shot also. He forced the, the point. So that's an example of one point. I'm going to go ahead and fill this out for an entire game because uh, we want to see a lot more stats on here than this to start to identify maybe some pattern that, oh, I need to work on that. So I'll go into fast forward, and I'll see you at the end of the game. Okay, I have to replay this point because it went so fast, I couldn't tell what happened. So I'm serving. And I come in to hit a third shot drop off my off the other side. Okay, I leave that third shot drop up, and I think I've got to get that third shot drop slightly losing. Um, usually, a third shot drop up a little high is not a problem, but it's a problem that we're at half court, and he is able to take this out of the air. Okay, so let's see. He gets the volley, and I'm forced to defend. So I go for a backhand reset and it stays up. So I'm not, that backhand volley reset was losing. He gets to hit an overhead, or uh, not an overhead, he gets to hit a hard shot. My opponent blocks it back hard again. Comes back hard at me. I've hit a backhand reset. Ooh, that's up high. And that's the point. So that backhand reset was up too high, it wasn't good enough, and it let him get the winner up the line. I'm going to stop it right there because we have more numbers to work off of now, and we can see some things going on. So taking a look overall, um, overall I scored pretty well, above 0.5, so it turns out green. I'm happy with that, but I'm looking, I have two unforced errors, and both of them were my backhand drop. So now I know I'm going to go practice that. Those are unacceptable, so i got to get those over the net. A um, couple of other things. Let's find a low-performing shot over here. Well, there's my backhand drop again. Okay, so let's find another one. Um, low-performing. Backhand lob wasn't a great idea. And my backhand volley reset could be better. Looks like I was losing a couple of those. So those are some things I have to work on. Now, let's say I want to, um, I want to look at something that's doing good for for me. Well, I got to win one point off of letting a ball fly over my backhand shoulder. That's nice. That's something I've been working on. Um, I got lucky on a, on a forehand volley reset that ended up lobbing over the guy for a winner. That was, that was a bit of luck, so that's a bit of an anomaly. Um, looks like I took an attack off the ground. I did a backhand flick and it, uh, it forced the winning shot, so that's nice to know. But I'm looking at when I take the ball out of the air on my backhand, I've got some strong numbers in there. So that gives me a clue that, uh, that I'm doing something good with my backhand when I'm hitting a volley and not trying to reset. So if I'm hitting a volley and being a little bit more aggressive, it looks like I'm being more successful. So that's a takeaway that I can get from that. 